unhinged for this and was this a bad decision? I don't know. So yes, my Patreon has launched. I figured I would just make the leap and potentially this could be the start of becoming a full-time artist. I don't know, but fingers are crossed. And I just ask you to watch the video, make an informed decision before heading over to Patreon and deciding whether you would like to join my little snack club. If you do decide to join and support me over there so I can continue creating content for you guys, I love you. And by no means do you have to subscribe to me on Patreon. Your support on YouTube, Instagram, and wherever else is enough. Your likes and comments are enough and I will love you regardless. Stick around to the end of the video so you can see the July rewards because they're really cute actually. I'm very happy about them. And for a breakdown of all the tiers I'm gonna offer. And with that, let's continue on the video and see how I managed to create my Patreon in two, kind of three weeks. Let's go, starting with the planning. All right, we're gonna get into the bulk of the planning right now. I have my, just had to make sure my mic was recording. I have my laptop in front of me and let's start the screen share. So you are now seeing my Notion homepage. This might look familiar to you if you saw my videos at the beginning of the year. I am a busy girl. Between a full-time job, having a shop, having a personal life, I need to put everything in my brain onto here. And when Notion reached out to me to sponsor this video, I was so happy. Um, I was already making videos about Notion, no sponsorship. So I was like, you guys are awesome. I love your product. I tell everyone about your product. Of course, of course, let's partner together. So this video is sponsored by Notion and I love them. You could use it for anything. So we're gonna go to my Buy Katie My page. This houses mainly my content calendar i look at this page all the time i have a database table right here where i have the type of post like what platform it's going on and if i have started it or not or what stage in the process i am at with the post or project whatever it is and it is related to this content calendar right here so i could visually see everything i have to do it's already june 8th this video has to go to notion by the 22nd. We only have two weeks to complete this Patreon project. I've already put everything that was in my trusty notebook onto my Patreon page. So I have like this little to-do list here and we're going to see what days I have time for this ginormous list. A little bit scary right now and I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, but we got this. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna show you how I put everything into this content calendar. So the first thing I want to do today is create the tier rewards. So I'm gonna put that here. I forget what these things are called, but these are like the columns in my table. So I have status, in progress, um, any notes I have when publishing date is like the day it is gonna be like the day I'm gonna do it. Sponsorship, no sponsorships. Um, the type, this is for Patreon, and that's pretty much all I put. And then as you can see, it shows up on the table right there. So, and I'm just gonna keep doing this until I have all of them filled out. Okay, I think I've gotten the bulk of the important stuff on this calendar and this might look really scary right now. Honestly, it is scaring me a little bit. Um, this looks like a lot of stuff. What I like about this is that if one day looks super, super heavy, I can just move my idea or post to the next day. Uh, now that that's done, I could actually check off a couple things. So, for this Notion sponsorship video, I could put this to filming, just so I know. I think that's all I could change right now. <laughs> so created this Patreon planning page, and I put all the rewards I want to offer onto this page. What I'm gonna do now is drag and drop the rewards to the tier I think it should go into. So Pandan Party is the lowest tier, and the Sticky Rice Society 
is the biggest tier with the most rewards. I'm going to drop everything in there right now. And this is why Notion is so much better than planning it on paper. Like I have pages and pages of notes because I was like moving things around and it just got so messy. And this is so simple and easy, so. That I was about to get ahead and start selling on my Patreon and the site is literally down right now. What are the odds of that? Is this a sign? Should I take it as a sign? Do I give up now? Like, what the heck? That's so weird. Oh my god, filming in the grocery store was so nerve-wracking, but thankfully it wasn't too busy. I had my camera though, and this one guy like walked past me and I was like, you just ruined my shot. <laughs> Let me show you my research. <laughs> I love doing research. So I got a couple snacks. The only thing I went to the grocery store were these shrimp chips. These aren't the OG shrimp chips that I would get when I was little, but I like the packaging on these ones and I didn't want a huge bag of shrimp chips, even though I could eat them all. So shrimp chips. These two things I saw and I was like, hmm, that could be fun. Um, I saw these pandan cakes and I was like, hmm, those are kind of cute too. I, and I kind of wanted to try it because my grandma used to make this one um, pandan cake and I had no idea how to make it and it seemed very hard. I didn't have any ingredients. So I was like, maybe that is similar. It's like this nice, like squishy honeycomb cake. Oh, this roasted garlic oyster flavor chips. Crazy flavor. Let's, I'm gonna try them really quickly. Hmm. This smells a little weird. It tastes like, well, it's very garlicky. I don't really see the oyster as much. I mean, I would eat them. Those are the snacks. I also got a taro boba because I think the purple would be really pretty and cute in my video. Last place I went to is Balea Bakery. They have really good bun mies. Then I know they have like a bunch of other stuff. So I got, I don't know how to say this in Vietnamese. It's some sort of, it's a bun. <laughs> All I know is it's a bun, this, and I used to eat this all the time growing up. So, and I haven't had this in a while, so I'm excited to try it. I got soy, which is sticky rice, and this one is the mung bean one. There were a bunch of different ones. There was like a red one, a purple one. I like this one because I like the taste of this one the most. Lastly, um, lastly, I was like, I'm there anyway. I got bun goon to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this later when I get hungry. That's my research. Yesterday, I was pretty much just brainstorming an idea for all the tier icons. Usually, I just like dump all my ideas onto a page. Like, this is so bad and messy, but I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with each, like how to make them all look consistent and just like cute in general. Um, these are like my really, really rough sketches for them. The little bunny with the disco ball, it was cause like a party, the boba buddies, shrimp chips. Um, the Sticky Rice Society. And then I've been going back and forth about the last year. I don't know, but I'm going to bring these into Procreate and start fleshing all them out. Ew, I don't really like that word, fleshing. I don't know why I said that, I'm sorry.
I kind of don't remember where I left off last, but I have slowly been working on the July rewards. So <laughs> this is the monthly sticker. I am obsessed with this fat little bunny. He is so hungry and so angry. I was playing with the idea of making the background like holographic and like chunky glitter. I think it would be super, super cute. I'm gonna print out a couple of tests to determine how big I wanna make this guy. I'm thinking around like three inches, like a nice big sticker. But yeah, gonna print out some tests before I send it off to the manufacturer. And I also did the bookmark. So I'm also playing around with the idea with like the hungry bunny. I think that is really cute as like the first reward since everything is snack themed. On this side of the bookmark, he is super hungry and angry and green. And then when you flip the bookmark around, it is a nice satisfied bunny who just took a bite of a peanut butter jelly sandwich. And then for the print, I'm gonna do the happy bunny. He's on a swing, everything is good, blissful, amazing. I do wanna get all these sent to the manufacturer like tomorrow. So I'm sorry, you probably won't be able to see the end result in this video, but you will definitely see it on Instagram or something. But yeah, I'm gonna t do some test prints right now. of the bookmarks because I want to make sure that my artwork is within the limits of the cut line. So these are the bookmarks I got from Awesome Merch. So I just want to make sure that these will like fall into the line. So I'm just going to cut out these and see if I like where the artwork cuts off. <laughs> I make these see this is why I wish I had a patreon right now so I could ask you guys Okay, did the test prints of the bookmark and the sticker and I am really excited about these I can't wait for you guys to see them so this is the bookmark and I'm happy with where the artwork cuts off like the full ears to be in it so this is super cute. Let me find a book. This is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Mark will look either like this, Happy Bunny, or like this, Angry Bunny. <laughs> so I really like that. And then 
Okay, this is a three inch sticker. I think this is way too big. It's pretty much the size of my hand. I'm gonna go with the 2.5 inch and just imagine the border being sparkly and pretty. So I'm gonna send these off to the manufacturer now. And I think we are good with the July rewards. I'm going to finish up the print and the digital rewards right now, off camera probably, so I could just get them done and start editing this video. If you're curious on how the final July rewards come out, just go ahead and check it out on my Patreon because it will be up on July 1st. I think this is like pretty much the end of the Patreon journey. I'm just gonna finish up like the last couple pieces on the admin side, like actually building out the Patreon page, uh, cause I don't think that will make for interesting footage. So just to see the final product, you'll just have to go check it out on Patreon. So this was a really exciting and a little bit of a stressful journey, but I'm happy with the end result and I hope you guys enjoy it too, so. Now for the last and final part, a breakdown of all the tiers. breakdown of my tiers. If you would like to support me on Patreon, you could head to the link below. If you do choose to support me on Patreon, thank you so, so much. I really wouldn't be able to create content like this if it weren't for you guys. It really, really means the world to me. Like I cannot thank you enough and excited for this new journey although it was a little scary at first and it might be a big workload so going to take a little bit of getting used to but this is what you guys are here for you guys are here along with me and that is it thank you guys for watching also thank you to notion for sponsoring this video i will see you guys in the next video bye